welcome back to quite a special anniversary. I planned to publish a video a week for a year, that's 52 videos, and this is the 52nd. So I've got an experiment I've been keeping back for a while and one I think you'll really enjoy. So here goes for a really fun experiment. I remember my father showing me this when I was a boy and he used a shaving glass uh, in the bathroom, some water and a piece of paper. So we're going to repeat that experiment today and you can try it yourselves. All you need is a glass with a smooth top on it, uh, some water and um, a piece of paper or a piece of card that can sit on top of the glass. Right, so this is what you do. Take the glass and fill it with water. It actually doesn't matter if it isn't completely full, but it works best if it's fairly full to the top. And then get your piece of card and put it on the glass and make sure you seal the top of the, the glass and then just tip it upside down. And it was this bit that truly astounded me when I was a young child, because my father then removed his hand and the water just stayed in the glass. And I thought, I've no idea what's going on here. It's really quite a clever experiment. I've seen this done in front of classes. The next thing to do, of course, is to pass the glass around and put it over everyone's head and see how long the water stays in the glass for. So as you might guess, this really impressed me. But with my brain, I thought of other ways to do this experiment. And uh, one of them is slightly annoying, but it's quite amusing nonetheless. When we used to go out for a meal, um, quite a few of the restaurants we went to, I think it was Little Chef and places like that in those days, um, McDonald's hadn't quite taken over. The sort of places we liked to go to as kids anyway. The tables had a very smooth um, Formica top on them. And I thought it might be quite an interesting stunt to see if I could leave a tip for the waiters and waitresses, but I could use this method for them to work out how to get at the tip. So I'm gonna show you something you can do in a restaurant. Um, which involves exactly the same physics principle, the glass full of water inverted on the table. So here goes for doing something really annoying. Instead of leaving the tip on the table for the waiters and waitresses, stick it in an empty glass. Make sure you fill the glass with water. Same old thing. Doesn't again matter if it's not quite to the top. You have to have a piece of paper or card with you, but in fact any magazine or um, leaflet will do. Tip it upside down. There we go. Stick it on the table of the restaurant and then slide the piece of card away. So what you've now got is a glass of water stuck on the table with a tip underneath it. And uh, unless you've got someone who was a physics graduate or undergraduate serving you at the time, they are really going to struggle to get to that money without getting extremely wet. Right, so it's explanation time. So, if you remember, we had our glass with a smooth top on it. Um, the size of the glass doesn't actually matter, uh, but I've just chosen to use a smaller one today, but you saw me do it with the larger beer glass. We filled it with water. In some ways, the explanation is easier if we don't quite fill it and leave a little airspace. Put a piece of card on, try to seal the edge as best as possible, tipped it upside down. You do get a little bit of leakage, but if you get a reasonably good seal, there we go, um, the card should stay on. And what you notice is you've got water, an air gap, and air underneath. Now this is the incredible strength of atmospheric pressure playing its part again. So you've got atmospheric pressure pushing underneath the card and you've got uh, the weight of the water pushing down plus the atmospheric pressure in the air. But the card has bowed slightly. The water has sort of pushed the card down in the middle a little bit and therefore the pressure in the air here is slightly less. The water can't change its volume but the air can expand a bit. So this air here is not quite at atmospheric pressure, it's slightly less. So you get to the point where the two balance. In other words, the force downwards equals the forces upwards. There's one other complication I need to mention. Uh, there's also some surface tension. Um, that's a bit more of a complex idea in physics, but that's what causes the kind of stickiness of the water on the edges and um, gets the card to stay in place in the first place. But you've got balanced forces, 
you've got no acceleration, so the whole thing's staying where it is. And it is the pressure of the atmosphere that's holding this piece of card on. So I hope you enjoyed that video and a year's worth of FJ's physics. I look forward to seeing you again next time. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs>